Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing some Overboard again. Going to take some a break from playing Call of Duty. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Ah! Need him on my side. <clears throat> Good morning, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. V. But I'll apply for your choice of choice if you don't want you to before. Okay. Can't use this button to auto play using previous choices. Choices in green are ones you took before. Cool. I'm super glad that they have this option. Um because I was I was thinking about it before I started recording. I was like, man, should I watch my previous video? Because it'd been, you know, a couple weeks since I last recorded it. And I was like, I don't want to pick the same choices and end up with the same, you know, ending. Um, so I'm glad that they have that. And just a disclaimer, there's no guarantee that I'll I'll get away with it. This is the whole point of the game is to get away with murder. And I'm I'm just a bad criminal, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get away with it, but I'll I'll try my damnedest. Um alright, let's do this. Uh come in. Thank you, ma'am. Kind of says we put into Liberty Island. 4 p.m. Your husband is up already, is he? Uh, maybe, maybe instead of playing the whole like, oh, I don't know where he is. Maybe I should just act like I know where he is the whole time. Um, let's do that. This V, it is almost nine o'clock. Slept in. Chill. Is our problem? He's a brute. I know. I'll tell him. Yeah, he's definitely a brute. He's like a gorilla. Takes him forever to wash. Ah, yes, ma'am. Breakfast is still being served, ma'am. Okay, so I gotta remember that. The steward thinks that Malcolm is taking a bath. We told him that we've seen him this morning. Gotta remember this guy. That face is already suspicious. Um, more thing. Uh, let's just get rid of him. Thank you. Thank you, steward. Very good, ma'am. All right, Veronica. Eight hours, then you're free. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let's look around the cabin really fast. Um, bed. I fell asleep on the chase last night, so no one slept in the bed. Um, so I made the mistake of I should have fallen asleep instead of just scrumpled the sheets. I'm gonna fall asleep. Looks like someone actually slept there. Uh, I'm not gonna get up. I'm up my bed. Okay. Um, the desk. They're cast on paperweight in the shape of a dolphin on the desk. What an ugly thing. God knows I hate dolphins. Something else? Uh, let's look in the bathroom. Surprisingly, I catch a glimpse of my reflection in the mirror as I slip into the bathroom. And look quickly away. There's a bottle of towels by the little sink. Um, but, uh, I'll fix my face. One of my earrings is missing one of my diamond earrings. Um, I didn't lose my earring on the deck last night. In fact, I shouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do the bathroom. Uh, let's just leave. I'm wasting, wasting time. Uh, the four accounts blended later. Agent Mister Car stares. See, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm already lost. Four cams are occupied by car stairs on one side of the lady on the other. Run the beginning of this scene. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, Lady Honoria Armstrong has a cabin more or less to herself on a separate quarter of the ship. Presumably no one sees her rolling back drunk to her room. I'll knock. Hello? No answer. Uh... Knock on his door. Hello? No answer. Nothing? Alright, step away. Um, what's the point of that? I'll leave. Let's see. Okay, let's go to the aft cabins. Maybe it closer to open up to me. Is the ship really sinking? What's inside the car stairs cabin? I wonder how we get in there. Mm. 
The Atkins went to the Major and to Miss Clarissa Turpentine. Okay. So what was it? Get, get Clarissa to open up. Must be Clarissa. Uh. Try the door. Knock. No answer. Yeah, no one's in there. Locked. Okay, Clarissa door. Um, I'm just gonna knock. You're in there. Go away. You're going to want to talk to me. This door could open this door. Um, try with this. Let's do this option. Are you threatening me? You witch. I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know. Uh, are you talking about Malcolm? You never loved him. Not like I did. He was my husband, not yours. We can't talk like this. I've had enough. Should we stir up drama? I don't think so. You can't my husband. Oh. I know I can't because he's dead. How? King how? There's the thing Malcolm went thinks Malcolm went missing overnight. How the f does she know? Malcolm isn't dead, Clarissa. I don't know what you mean. And dead. If that's what you're thinking. He is. I know he is. And with him dies every star in the sky. Man, what did you see? Please tell me. Go away. Do you know where he is? He's dead. Don't pretend you didn't know. She comes in the floods of tears again. Don't just her bed sheets. How can she know? What does she see? I mean, I don't feel like we're going to get anywhere with that. I'm just going to step away. Uh, uh, let's leave. Let's go to the rest. It's a quiet place to think now. The rush is over. Lady H is sitting by herself on one of the tables. May I join you? Dibble some biscuits. Yeah, may I join you? Of course, dear. A drink? Uh, at lunchtime? Uh, I'm gonna have to remember all that. Thank you. Stuart, two martinis, please. Make mine filthy. Yes, ma'am. Are you married? What do you make of the commander? Wait for my drink. You see the commander? Lovely Anders. Quite a favorite of mine, but you know, dear, not all that glitters is gold, as they say. Uh, you don't trust him? Oh, I would trust him. Maybe not to sail a boat, though. Uh, what does that mean? Our beloved commander, my dear, he has a secret. What kind of secret? A rather awkward one? Lucky for him, I'm terribly discreet. Uh, they just tell me. <laughs> me? I couldn't possibly. I can't go around giving people secrets out like humbugs, dear. What a way to behave. What if we trade? I'll give you my diamond earring. A secret for a secret, is it? I do like secrets, that's true. It's turpentine. I'll give you... Ha ha ha. Um... There's something some seriously valuable. My dear, you don't want to do that. Trust me. I'm like a dog. When I get my fangs into something, I don't let it go. Men, I don't find... Oh, men, I don't mind treating that way. I feel sorry for women. Uh, what do you want? I'll tell you what, dear. 1,000 pounds. You give me 1,000 pounds, I'll give you under secret. Here's to having to hold. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the earring. Diamond is worth much more. You could sell an earring, my dear, but a lady like me doesn't go into a pawn shop. I take cash. Um, I don't care any money. Oh dear, my dear, what a shame for you. Here you are, ma'am, just as you like it. Sorted. Thank you so much. Did you just wink at him? What do you make of car stairs? You must have been stunning in your youth. What are these questions? What do you make of car stairs? Car stairs? Oh, the dark horse, that one. You mark my words. Um, he's got a secret? Well, I rather think so. Honestly, my dear, I rather thought it was you. Uh, he's having an affair, is he? Normal left for an unmarried man. Whoever young Carstairs is seeing is definitely a secret. Where it is, they turn up at his cabin door quite late and they use a signal. They always knock nine times. Three groups of three. Always the same. Uh, how intriguing. Yes, well, I've not managed to find out anything really juicy and we're almost ashore. What a waste. Here you are, Miss V, straight up with a twist. Let's finish the drink and go. I'm a little wasted. Uh, Lady Armstrong thinks, okay. Archer's a lover aboard. Let's go talk to him. 
find out. The smoking room is a stuffy place tucked into the back of the boat. Okay. It's the only heavy chair is the man with an enormous walrus mustache. Carstairs is here to quietly smoking. Good day to you, Mrs. V. Been stuck aboard to this tug for a week. I don't believe we had the pleasure. The name is Sabadar Major Sar... Blah, blah, blah. Of the 14th... I'm butchering this. Retired, obviously. At your service. Uh, please... Please, Major, help. Oh, yes? I think Malcolm has gone overboard. I've not seen my husband this morning. I'm worried about... Uh... Can't go with that because what's his face already knows that I, I told him I saw him this morning. So I don't want to be lying to people. I, mm, I'm going to go with this. We're at Miss Turpentine. I'm afraid she's going to do something drastic. Well, these dramatic types. They're like anti tank mines. They very much like to explode. But I don't see how I can help. Uh, can't you talk to her? A girl like that? I don't think she'd listen to a word I said. I was hoping to catch you, Mrs. V. Are you looking for your diamond by any chance? Found it on the upper deck this morning. Showed it to the major here, and he jolly well diagnosed it. Okay, diamond, highest caliber, calibre. Look, I'm afraid I only found the one though. Uh. Uh. Should go and look for the other one. Should be more careful, old fruit. Uh. Yeah, Malcolm would have been furious if he'd seen me without them. I mean, oh. Your husband hasn't seen sh shit. Um, I messed up. I mean, he didn't notice. He's not very observant. No, I've noticed that about him too. Whew. Still, I'm very happy to you two are back together. You and the earring, I mean. Uh, I want to leave. Okay. Over here, the chapel. Uh, yeah. So we get help from a higher power. Small child was tucked in the very bottom of the boat. Follow my knees and bow my head. Uh, oh, Father, who art in heaven, I'll be thy name. The kingdom are something, something heaven. <laughs> That's what you've got? This is schoolgirl stuff. What do you want? I've not always been... I've sinned. Um, not always been? And I have not always been a small antelope called Millicent. Just to get to the point, lady. Um, need some advice. What is it this time? So, where do you get pushed on my back? Yes, obviously. Just treat her with the same grave disrespect you showed your husband. If you do that, however, off your conscience. No, anything else? Since you're here for once, I can't think of anything. Good. Good yeah, I'm tired of you. <laughs> what is that? The was blown by the doors intended for donations. The money goes into an orphanage for children of lost sailors. It's empty. Get your nose out of there. I heard out of the chapel. So should I go disrespect? What's her face? Was she here? I'm just gonna go try it. Listen to God. Uh, knock again. Go away. Meet me on the upper deck. Why? For your own good. Okay, that's disrespectful, right? For your own good. Trust me. I hate you. Go away. Not get a sight. Quickly dug down me on the potted plant. A few minutes pass by, the clear steps out and hurries up the passageway. She's gone. Anders appears from around the corner. There you are. We're needed in the restaurant now. Uh, walk me there? Certainly, madam. Let me take your arm. Oh, less than an hour. In the restaurant, Lady H, Carstairs and the Major are soon gathered. I was determined I was standing apart, still sniffling. Anders walks me in and steps to one side. Thank you all for coming. I have pleasure for gathering you all here. It is most unusual. But I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. Mrs. V, Malcolm V isn't with you? I knew it. You don't know anything. Look at you. You don't know anything. Uh. Yeah, he was with me this morning. When did I tell you that? Um, 
He was with me all night. I don't care what you think or what I said. So, point is this. Something has become a Mr. V. So what has happened? I'll tell you something. This bitch won't. I saw him fall into the sea. How did you see that? Last night he fell past my window as I looked out. Uh, yeah, why didn't you tell anyone? Why didn't you tell me? Because I loved him. I don't know if you can understand that. There, I said it. You know, of course one doesn't like to gossip, but Malcolm V was on the upper deck last night, and he wasn't alone. Larissa was with him, was she? I must have been Clarissa taking a moonlit show with my husband. I'm sorry, Mrs. V, but I found your earring there just this morning. I mean, it wasn't your earring, wasn't it? Uh, no. Of course it was. Then you must have been up there last night. Um, I was up there, yeah, I was up there much earlier. The weather yesterday was terrible until nightfall. I already love the rain. I thought I think there's an obvious conclusion. Wait, there's more. As I went below, there was a splash. Yeah. Splash, we're on a boat. This is ludicrous. I thought it was something falling off the boat until... Until all of this. This is V. You lied about not visiting the upper deck. You lied about your husband's whereabouts this morning. Can you explain yourself? Uh, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. So what happened? Her. Clarissa killed him. She loved him and she couldn't have him. You dog, you beastly dog. Enough, ladies. Don't fight. No one thinks that you did anything to hurt Mr. V, Miss Turpentine. No, thank you, Commander. I must advise the captain that Malcolm V committed suicide last night. Wait a moment. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. No, not you, Major. Him. Me, Leader Armstrong? I'm going to stay silent. That's right, Commander. You were up on the bridge last night with your binoculars. You must have seen exactly what happened. Commander? I've been intending to discuss the matter discreetly with the captain himself, but since you've forced me into speaking publicly... It was dark on deck. Surely you can't have seen anything. It was quite bright, ma'am. Quite bright enough to see the upper deck. I saw Mrs. Villa be on the deck last night. I saw something fall off the ship. I knew it. I have a nose for these things. For those things. With these things. Anders turned me in. You really killed him. And I'd do it again. I didn't. Keep denying. I swear I didn't. I can tell that you're lying. You're a terrible actress. I can see the truth in your eyes. Mrs. V, the coincidences. They are too much. I have no choice but to treat this as a murder. Mrs. V, please come with me. I thought you loved me, Anders. I had dreams. You're fi very fine, Veronica. But not fine enough to hang for. Just come with me. You better stay in your cabin until we dock. This is me. Oh, bollocks. Huh. Alright, um... I honestly don't know. See, like, I want to kind of, like... Look up some... Some tips for this game but well, i kind of feel like that's cheating you know like i want this all to be blind i don't want to go into it kind of knowing what to put but i don't know if you watch this video and if you have any advice for me let me know i think i'm just a terrible criminal so just put a comment and just say like hey moron pick this option or do this instead because maybe i'm just missing something i don't know i feel like i had a good plan from the beginning but then it just went it went south really quick um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'll probably do this one more time, um, to see if I can get a, some sort of different ending. I don't, I don't know how many endings there are, but we'll just have to see. Anyways, it's been real. Thanks again, guys. Take it easy.